Hi, my name is Majorea Jai and I go by MJ. I am an art worker. I am a producer, a programmer, um, and a curator currently working in the arts still. Um, I've been working in the arts since 2015, so for about seven years now. I would say I'm a mid-career artist. You are actually asked to work for free pretty often and it can come under many guises and some of them are recognisable and obvious and easy to say no to but some of them I think are a little bit more covert and you don't realise that people are extorting your labour for free basically. I think earlier on in my arts career I definitely had to work for free to gain experience um, I was a young person and I was really looking for ways to enter into the arts and I didn't have a degree yet so I definitely took some roles that now I'm older would definitely have to be paid positions because of the level of work they were asking me to do. Um, sometimes you might ask to be to do things that are really above your role and you might be asked to consult on things that really should have someone with a dedicated role like consulting on diversity and inclusion or access um, simply because you are a disabled person or because you are a person of colour or a person of the global majority. I feel that, especially for early career artists, it's important to recognise that your work has value and if you are doing a volunteering role, the least that you should be uh, compensated for is at least your travel and maybe a per diem so you can cover food and so you're le left out of pocket trying to get into work or trying to volunteer for an organisation and perhaps suggest next time if there is you know um, something that they're asking you to consult on that you don't feel comfortable doing that they look into getting a professional to consult on those things.